have the same, I don't want to say troubles, but one, one of the difficult parts of Christmas is trying to figure out what to get for those loved ones in your life. And sometimes parents are maybe the most difficult because they have everything. They're at that stage in their life that if they want something, they just go buy it or they've inherited it or they've already had it. So tonight we're working on our Christmas gifts to our mom. Last year, um, I saw an influencer on Instagram do um, these different, they're just on a piece of wood. And then she painted different Christmas scenes on them. And lucky for me, I have a very talented husband because I couldn't do this. I think I painted the circles, <laughs> but that's all I can do. Anyway, um, this took Brandon like five minutes and it was, it was like 25 minutes. Okay, 25 <laughs> minutes. But they turned out super cute and both of our moms really liked them. And so we decided that this is what we're gonna give them this year. And today was our first Ooh. snowfall. Yeah, already snowing, it's still October. It'll melt. But we thought, oh, it's a good, get to get it started and get them finished. Otherwise, it'll be Christmas and we it's won't have them done. Date night tonight. We don't have any kids besides Hank and Bo who are right down here whining because it's snowing outside and they want to be out there playing. So we're like, what are we doing for our date? And we decided to work on these. So. I'm just going to sit here. She's going to paint circles again. <laughs> she did last year. She does a very good job. I mean, look at the circle on that. That's like perfection. I couldn't paint a circle like that. So I can paint the tree because it doesn't have to be perfect. Look at the church house on that. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's beautiful. sit by me while I paint it. Yeah, did you want to be in the video? Is that what you're saying? Mm -hmm. Boys just wanted to be right by dad. They're down here growling at everything. Good. All right, now we're painting red barns. I got the snowman done. Jill's killing it. This is what we're going for. This is what they are. Hope that's what they're when they're done. <laughs> How about that? This is what I want. He says that's above his pay grade.
you said before, I believe Jill found them. Where did you find them? Um, just a girl I follow on Instagram does them and sells them. And I'm like, why buy them? Why buy them? <laughs> They're running like $15 to $18 a piece. I'm like, I can spend that much on paint. We can paint them. We had all the wood already. Just had to take time to cut them and time to sit down and paint them. So Jill and I sat down and started painting them. So I didn't paint them. Yes, you did. You painted all the backdrop. Oh, the backdrop. <laughs> She circles. did. She painted the circles so I knew how where to keep everything else in. So it was a combined effort. She was the mastermind. She was the one that driving factor to get it done. I just had to sit down and do it before I got beat up. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So no, it was fun to do. Um, originally we did Jill's last year and they're on the tree behind. And then her mom came in and saw them and wanted them and cried and cried. So, uh, why don't you explain how we gave your mom hers? Um, well, last year when she saw them, she she wanted them and said, Brandon, why don't you do that for me? And I was like, I don't know. So we started the idea last year and then she came, I don't know. A couple weeks ago. A couple weeks ago and saw it again. And, and we were halfway done with them. So last week when she was at church, I went up and decorated a small tree she has like this. And she came home from church and called and cried and was so happy. Brandon was at work, so he didn't get to see her cry, but she loves them. She FaceTimed me and told me thank you. So it was well worth it. And in this red box are my mother's and we just haven't taken them to her given to her yet. They don't really set up a tree anymore. I guess they figured they're too old for it. So Jill and I might have to run and buy a little miniature tree at a tree lot somewhere and stick it in the corner or something to go set it up. Hey buddy. <laughs> we appreciate you guys watching. Um, we don't try not to ask too much because we don't want to be those channels that asks way too much, but if you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button, it helps us out. That would be an awesome Christmas gift to us. If you're not a subscriber, to subscribe to our channel. Hit the notification bell. Yeah, you can hit that and every time we post a new video, it'll let you know that we've posted one, you can get on and watch it, and it really does help us. If you understand YouTube, you understand what we're saying. If you don't, just trust us, it does help us. And we should make a, a goal if we hit 2,000 subscribers in the year 2023, we can shave Hank and Bo. Oh dear. Is that a good deal? No. <laughs> Let's shave you instead. No. Yeah. All right, guys. Love you. Thank you for watching our videos. Remember, don't just live life, but love life.